Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited to be sharing this video with you all today. Today I'm going to be working on my Create This Book 3. I just recently started it and was decorating the cover and the beginning pages, but today I'm actually going to be working on the first three actual pages of Create This Book. The Create Clouds page, and the Create Bewilderment page, and then finally the Creating Stained Glass page. So for the first page, it's asking us to look out the window and paint or draw the clouds that we see. This is pretty much the view of my outside window. As you can see, there are a lot of trees blocking the view. And so I can't get a very picture perfect view of the sky. And so I decided to kind of add the trees to my design. And I decided to use watercolor for this first page. And so I'm starting off by just painting the trees or at least trying to paint the trees. But to be honest, these trees kind of turned out looking more like leaves than trees. And I was mostly doing this from memory, at least the cloud painting. I didn't really keep looking back and outside of my window while I was painting. And so this doesn't really look like the outside of my house or the outside of my window at all. But the idea was there. It was a good attempt. But this is how it turned out. Um, I'm not too happy, but I'm also not too disappointed in it. I feel like it's just there. But from moving on from that page, the next page is the Create Bewilderment page. It basically just says to draw something completely ridiculous and pointless. And to start off, I pulled out this kit that I recently got. It's called the In Your Dreams A Vision Board Kit. And I might be making a separate video just on this kit, but I really wanted to use the washi tape or this decorative tape that was inside of it because I decided I wanted to kind of section off this page into four different sections because I didn't really have any strong ideas for this page. And I guess I didn't exactly follow the instructions for this page because I didn't really create any bewilderment, but I did create just four different pointless and meaningless designs. I kind of just use this page as some practice to practice some small ideas and some small drawings that I don't get to do very often. And I wanted to use the tape to kind of separate the sections so it wouldn't just be four random things floating around the space. The first sketch I have drawn and I'm using alcohol markers to color in or to paint in it's just this bear with stars in its eyes. I was trying to make it seem like all excited or starstruck. Uh, but I really hate how I did the eyes. The yellow is very dark, so it's not as noticeable. And it just looks really creepy. But underneath the bear, I decided to draw a bunny that was crying because he's sad for something. And then on the top right side of the page, I decided to do a cat who was blushing because she was all happy because she has a pink bow on her head. But then I decided to paint the cat blue. I'm not too entirely sure why. I just kind of wanted more color on this page. And for the bottom half, I really have this thing with rainbow dresses and pink hair. And so I kind of put those two ideas together and just drew a girl with really long pink hair and a rainbow dress. But it was around this point where I noticed that all of the colors weren't going to fit, so I kind of went over the tape a little bit. 
I mean, I guess I did follow the instructions because all of this was pretty pointless. But again, I wasn't in love with this page, to be honest. It's kind of just there again. But moving on to the final page for today, I'm doing the create a stained glass page where basically you just draw straight lines and then once all of your lines are done and designed, you just add color to each of the shapes. And this page was honestly my favorite to do. It also felt like it was the easiest to do. And I decided to go with watercolor again because I felt like that would give it the best stained glass look. Or I guess I could have used colored pencil, but I prefer watercolor over colored pencil. It kind of started with the right half with just doing kind of the colors of the rainbow in order or kind of just going down the watercolor palette order i did divide the two parts of this page and kind of did two different shapes and designs I wanted the right side to be very orderly and nice, where the left side, I try to make the colors a bit more randomized and not as orderly as the right side. To be completely honest, I didn't really love any of these three pages that I did. I feel like the art that I did, if you could even call it art, wasn't that great. And I feel like I just didn't really have any good ideas while doing any of these. But I feel like that's just kind of how it goes sometimes when you're painting or creating. And I let this dry completely. But I did go ahead and put, in, put my initials and the date on each of the pages. And this is how it turned out once it was completely dried. I honestly really like it, but I mean it's colorful so why wouldn't I like it? And these are the three pages that I did for today. Overall, I'm satisfied and happy with all three of them. I don't think it's like completely horrible, but I do admit and will say this is definitely not the best piece of art or work I've ever done. But thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed.